Happy New Year's Eve! 2018. I guess it's not 19 yet. A couple more hours will be 2019. It got cold here in Arizona. It might snow today. At any rate, today I'm working on a um, 2006, 7, Winnebago, Horizon, Vectra. Let's go look. Winnebago Vectra, it's not a Itasca Horizon, but they're identical. So at any rate, my customer's complaining about the backup monitor. Instead of that, the uh, it would get fuzzy and lose its picture every once in a while. This is a Sony system, and uh, these are also obsolete. So I think I figured out what his issue is. Let's take a look. So this is the backup monitor right here. This has what's called a Trip Tech computer on it. So this is what Winnebago installed. Some manufacturers installed this, but there's a uh, touchpad right here. Gives you a digital readout of some things. You can check your uh, checklist down there. Look at that, I've done everything. All right, now I press view to exit. All right, so it gives you lots of good information right there. These buttons never make any sense to me. So the screen, you can change what's going on on the screen. All right, so this actually goes in series. This video feed takes the backup monitor it goes into it and then comes back out of it and overlays all this information on it. So you can kind of see it right here. This is the TripTech computer under the dash. So you got this from the camera, this from the monitor. So if I jiggle the monitor wire, let's see, jiggle, 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 jiggle. The screen goes all fuzzy. I think that's what he's actually talking about. So I don't think it's an actual monitor or the camera issue. It's just going to be these connections right here. I don't even know if this system's even operating anymore, but I'm gonna take this apart and see if the uh, solder joints in there are bad, because this whole thing wiggles a little bit. Both of them really do. So if I even do the uh, yellow one, I get a little bit of a, a fuzzy too. So let's take that out and see what we got. All right, so I brought us inside here. We'll take a look at this. This is a trip talk, trip, trip tech computer system. This is uh, not provided by the chassis manufacturer. It's just an add-on that would take the information from the chassis and translate it. So uh, it's got a little bit of OVD connectivity to it. So it's using a lot of the digital data feed from the chassis manufacturer, generally Freightliner. I mean, it's a good idea, I guess. I don't really care for it, though. <laughs> it was cool at the time. So I don't know what to expect. I've never actually tried to fix one of these, but like I said, these are obsolete, and this customer apparently really likes having this option. All right. Those out of the way. All right. I guess I probably should have grabbed uh, some nut drivers. So I'll be back. All right, what do you think? Metric or standard? Metric or standard? I'm gonna guess standard. I wouldn't have thought that was quarter. Sure didn't look like quarter, but I guess it's quarter. It's all apart now. Well, let me get a flashlight and take a better look at this. And they definitely don't look like cold solders. Wait a minute, maybe that one is. Yeah, I see that one right here. Looks like there's a, a crack around the uh, the tab there. So let me reflow these and see how it goes. I haven't been, well, more, I haven't been uh, warming up my soldering iron, so this will take a second. All right, 
let's see, I got these guys warming up. I got my high temperature one and my medium temperature one. Okay. So there they are. Have to excuse my janky setup here. All right, so let's see if we can't maybe float this one back out again. I got, I got a plan. Let's see what we can do here. Well, I reflowed the monitor. I have to flip this around for this side. Let's try to reflow this thing. I guess that kind of worked. I guess let's go put this back in place and see how we do. All right, well, we're back inside here. I don't have it all put together. I'm just kind of going to mock it up and see how we do. What could go wrong? Plug the data in. Put the keypad in. Plug the monitor in. Plug the camera in. So far, something. I guess turn it on first off, right? All right, so I am jiggling it. And there we go. So it still kind of does. It's not nearly as bad, or is it? Yeah, I guess it is still as bad. All right, try something else. All right, well that didn't work. What I'm going to try to do now is desolder this guy right here so I can take a look at that center pin. So I think maybe the center contact's not making good contact. Obviously the outside one is. You can actually see how clean it is right here and how dirty it is below there. So I guess. Okay, well that's out. Now what? I guess it's desoldered enough. I thought maybe this center contact might be a little corroded. Kind of looks like it is a little bit. Alright, get that pulled out. Yeah, I can't say it looks awful or anything. But I got some 1500 grit sandpaper here. Let's polish it up. How exciting is this? Couldn't say. I think it's only really the tip of this that actually makes contact with the, just an RCA composite video cable. So it's very prone, I guess, to uh, having issues. I think I already forgot how this all goes back together. Luckily, I didn't take that one apart. So that one goes there.
Ah, there she is. There we go. Alright, I don't think I got that wrong this time. Alright, I'll try it again. Now, I wish you could see this a little bit better, but I can't show you both things that I'm doing. I am wiggling. Let's see, maybe. Uh, can you see me wiggling my hand there a little bit? And the screen's not jiggling anymore. So it does seem like it helped out quite a bit reflowing that and probably uh, polishing up that center contact right there. It's definitely not how it used to be. So that does seem like that fixed the problem. Uh, I still want to uh, support these uh, standoffs a lot better than they are. Because that's a lot of strain to put on those little uh, solder joints right there. And they did look cold like they were cracked. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I know in years past I've just taken a zip tie and I've like put a lot of pressure on it to hold the harness in one position because these are really crummy connections from the get-go but there you go hope that helps somebody I guess that did get rid of uh, the horrible uh, uh, interference I was getting before I guess I'll keep trying it and see if that does anything but at any rate let's see yeah that button's working still I'll jiggle it a little bit more. Obviously, I could break it. But yeah, that's... It should have been jiggling a lot more. Or it should have been... That seemed to have worked. All right. Well, I'll put everything back together at this point. Uh, I'm sure you didn't even get to see most of my uh, my soldering job. Because it was... Uh, I'm ham-fisted as it is. Uh, our VTech doing uh, fine soldering work isn't my strong point. But uh, I did get it done. Hopefully you saw some of it. It just seemed to fix the problem. Uh, this is again just a uh, trip tech computer on a 07-ish Winnebago Vectra. Uh, at any rate guys, Happy New Year 2019. It's really cold outside. It's even raining. Check this out. Oh, you can't see that. Oh, you can see that. Look, that's rain. It might turn into snow, they say. I don't know.